good day and thank you very much for trusting in us welcome to the case consulting and training platform i want us to talk about something that is prevalent in our society we are talking about breadwinners breadwinners in this case somebody that is fortunate to have a lot in life you have money and you are in a family you might be the senior brother the senior sister or the junior one the junior brother or junior sister but what happens is that most often your parents only listen to you anything you see becomes law to them why because you provide for them they feel if they say if they tell you contrary you stop providing for them your other brothers your other siblings are are not happy about it especially the ones which are seen which senior you they are not happy about it because they feel that they are being robbed of their position because they do not have sometimes it's like that other times you might be the senior and you believe that because you are the senior anything you say is law even if you say something that is wrong your parents will just accept because you are the senior and you have money you have been taking care of everybody in the family you fed the bills and everything for your for your siblings for might be for so long a time so anything you say to them it's okay even if they do not accept it they do not they know personally that is not right your parents will just sit quiet why because they feel if they tell you contrary you will stop giving them aid you see that is blackmail because most often you as an individual you know you know that this thing that you are doing is wrong but because you know you are in a position of authority you send the other ones to school you are paying everything for everybody everybody will listen to you you see life is not like that and parents need to be careful we as parents sometimes we sell our right you sell the your right as a mother you sell your right as a father to your children to your child you sell the right of your first son maybe to your daughter junior daughter for that matter because she has and she provides for you you take away the right of the first son of the family why because he doesn't have and the other brothers or the other sisters have the other junior brother that has now bam that is the person that anything that she says or does you endorse it you put the family in disarray because of your choices very soon your siblings stop stop to, they don't speak to each other anymore this one don't want to speak this one don't want to speak why because you as a mother what do you do because you feel that this other one has to help because he's helping you failed in your responsibility as a mother or as a father because what they do is they're helping you it's not their responsibility and because they help you it's a rope that they put in your neck now you have to accept or do their biddings you know perfectly well that those biddings are wrong but you are still you are still, you are still hanging on them why because you feel that they are the breadwinners and you don't you cannot do anything there comes a point in time where you don't even have voice as a mother in the house you don't even have voice as a father in the house because you've given your voice and your right to your children you create enmity within the siblings why because this one don't have that one has this one don't have there's no respect the junior one don't respect the senior one the senior one don't even respect the junior nothing is happening why because you as a parent you've taken sides the love that you are supposed to share equally for everybody that love is no longer there not that you do not love them the point is you feel if you say the truth he will go and he will not come back he will not help you again sometimes you choke them because they have their own responsibilities but you take their responsibilities that you're supposed to do as a mother as a father for your own child you say no this you are this your senior brother you have to do this 
you have to do this because you are the senior. You have to do this because you are the senior sister. You have to do this. You must do it. Even if when they only, they only have their own families. Yet you control them. And when you control them when they have their own families, their wives or their husbands become agitated because they cannot concentrate on their own family that they are creating. Because he has to do everything for your family. She has to do everything for their family. For your family, I say your family, the family of your parents, they are your family. It's not their own family. Now, the moment they have their own family, you become an extended family. They have their own immediate family. They cannot concentrate on their immediate family because they are concentrating on your own family. This one goes to parents. Please. I've had this enough. Parents have come to meet me. Counseling sessions I had with them. That their children, the, 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 the children don't talk to each other anymore. When I move on to get the details about it and talk to the siblings, I discover the problem is not the children. The children, the, the parents will come with their report. No, my child, my child is this, my child is this. But when I listen to the children, I discover the problem is not the children. The problem is the parents. The problem is the mother. The problem is the father. Because you discriminate. Because you feel that this one has something, has everything to offer. The other one don't have anything. So you have to lean on the one that has. Please, you have to dissociate from this. It's killing us. It's driving us crazy. It's driving us crazy. Because you are the senior doesn't mean you have to take decisions from everybody. At the age of 21, when it comes to African culture, as somebody can stand, the person even has a family. But because you are the senior brother, because you are the senior sister, you feel you can just trample on the others because you are the senior. No. You are the head, meaning it's a leadership thing. You need to lead. You don't need to dictate. You need to lead. You need to lead. You lead by dedicating people choices. You lead by assigning responsibilities to individuals. You lead by accepting the proposals of individuals. Not only yours. That is how you lead. A leader knows these things. But we are falling short of all these. We have made our family life to become so difficult. Our sisters hate us. Our brothers hate us. We hate each other individual. When you have spouses, your wife don't want to see this sister. Your, 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 your husband don't want to see this brother. Why? Because of the information we give them. When you get married, the only thing you do is you tell your wife that this, this is my sister this, this has this character. This is my brother has this character. I don't respect this. What happens? Because you've told them exactly how they are. You sold them negatively to your spouse. You sold them negatively to your brother. You sold them negatively to, 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 your, to, to, to your husband and to your wife. What happens? They hate them. You create enmity from the day you came into the family, from the day you have your wife, from the day you have your husband. You bring that family enmity, antagonism, hatred. You bring it inside because of the things you tell your, 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 your spouses. That is the truth. This man just came and met you. The man didn't know anything about your family. This woman came and met you. He didn't know anything about your family. Every single thing that he knew or he knows about her, he came to learn about your family. He learns it from you, from the things you say. Look, if I go to my friend's house and the wife disrespects me, I know. If my friend has said so many nasty things or many bad things about me to the wife, that is the why the wife had that audacity to disrespect me. Vice versa. What we say has tremendous impact on our lives and our relationships. That is why even in counseling, I will tell you that, look, if you have an issue with your husband, you the wife, call the husband's family and talk to. Don't go to your family. When you go to your family, they love you. No matter the, the things you do, they can condone. But if it is another person like your husband, they will not. 
by the time you arrange your stuff you see you've already created there's a part in them that they don't like that husband be based on the things that you told them when you are fine now they are not still fine with him so it is something that we need to learn it's something we need to learn mothers fathers stop discriminating stop giving preferential treatment because that person has money because that person has built you a home because that person has helped you take care of the others and everything that he says now becomes final stop it is most especially bad when the elder doesn't have anything when the boy doesn't have anything or the, or the woman doesn't have anything or has a little and the juniors have every other thing and now everything that the man says the father will not listen. The mother will not listen. Everything that the, the, the woman, the, 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 the daughter says, the father will not listen. The woman will not listen. But they will listen to that of their junior, their junior brother, their junior sister. Anything that they say, the parents will listen. Why? Because he does not have that money to provide. Do we see how we break our own family? Do we see how we create hatred within ourselves? Only because we are running for our own responsibility. The Bible says, say the truth and only the truth will, take, will, will set you free. How can't you come out clean and tell your son that son? Yes, you can give me money, but let me tell you, what you've done is wrong. This thing that you are doing is wrong. Why can't you come clean and tell them? It doesn't matter. They are your children. Stop being afraid. They will go. But let me tell you something, when they go, they will understand that my parents stood their ground and they know the morality is in them. You instilled it in them. They will know that what they did is wrong. It will be easier for them to come back. It will be easier for them to talk to their sisters, to talk to their brothers. It will be easier for them to talk to liaison with their siblings. Let's make it easy for us. But when you, the parents, are taking side, how do you expect these things to flow? It will not flow. It will not. Because you are not taking, you are not standing up to your responsibility as a, as a mother. You are not standing up to your responsibility as a father. Sometimes all these things, all this fighting that we have in the family is caused by our parents. The ones that came to my desk that I'm talking, I'm talking now is because it was not caused the parents brought it but the thoughts did not come from the from, from the children no it came from the parents and when i opened up to them and told them that this is your fault it's coming from you they were so shocked and ashamed but they were castigating another child but at the end of the day they knew their mistake and they stood their ground now they are fine the siblings are all talking to each other please this is serious this is serious. Families are broken today. Look, they say divide that we fall. We shall always fall when we are not in one mouth. We will fall. We will fall. There's no two things about it. We will fall. We need to do things to stand. We need to do things so that we'll be together. Each one of us will be together. It's not time for us to fall. It's time for us to build ourselves together. Charity begins at home. We should start from our homes. Parents, you have that responsibility. God gave you that responsibility. Grab it. Grab it. Grab that responsibility and move along with it. Your children will listen to you. Stand firm. Stand firm. Don't be biased. It doesn't matter. Say the truth. Look them eyeball to eyeball and tell the truth. It doesn't matter. If they don't want to give you, go. God will provide. But there should be justice and equity. There should be justice, fairness and equity in the family. You parents, you must instill that justice, fairness, and equity in your siblings. Siblings too, you must execute that. Learn from your parents if they bring it up and trying to learn how to be together. Respect each and every individual. They are bound to be problems. But please, learn to sit together and talk. Talk with love. Talk with love. Remember the good times you poor have. Family is gold. Witchcraft starts from hatred. It's not only going to Gambi House, it starts from hatred. With this small, I believe I do not come to confuse you, but for us to learn and have a good part in life. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you for moving with me on this platform. It is not my platform. It is our platform. Thank you all. And God bless you.